Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jaydeep Varinskar. I am an ophthalmologist and a senior vitroretina surgeon. I practice at Aditya Jyot Eye Hospital, which is a unit of Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital, located in central Mumbai at Vadala West, opposite SIWS College. Today I will be discussing with you about a common retinal condition which we come across as retina specialists and which is a emergency when it comes to treatment and that is called retinal detachment. So what is retinal detachment? It is nothing but the separation of the retina from its normal attachment of the eye. So retina is attached to the inner wall of the eye like a wallpaper and there is no gap between the eye wall and the retina in normal human beings, normal human eyes. So whenever there is a separation of this retina from its inner wall, inner wall of the eye, it is called as retinal detachment. There are various types of retinal detachments and the most common one is called regmatogenous retinal detachment where there is a tear or a hole in the retina through which some fluid goes under the retina and it gets lifted up. So this condition is and medical uh, emergency is a surgical emergency from retina specialist point of view and needs surgery to repair the retinal detachment as soon as possible. So what are the symptoms of retinal detachment? The most common symptoms are some floaters or black spots suddenly floating in front of your eye associated with or without some flashes of light like a lightning flash or a camera flash coming persistently from some direction with eye movement and some kind of shadow falling from some side covering the side vision. These are the initial symptoms of retinal detachment and it is very important for you to be aware of this because if you visit your retina specialist when you see these symptoms, we can potentially prevent a retinal detachment from happening and it can be treated with simple laser treatment without having to go for major surgery. However, if this retinal detachment progresses and there is loss of vision, at this stage, we have to plan surgical treatment because there is no other treatment at this stage. So, what kind of surgeries are done for retinal detachment? There are two basic types of surgical treatment for retinal detachment. One is called scleral buckling, which is a procedure done from outside the eye and the other commonly done procedure is vitrectomy which is done from inside the eye. So scleral buckling has been with us for many years and was the first treatment which was successful when it comes to retinal detachment. However, in today's uh, advanced stage is when we have very advanced instrumentation and surgical techniques. It is uh, suitable for some types of retinal detachment and the rest of them are treated with vitrectomy. So in vitrectomy, very fine instruments are inserted inside the eye and the jelly which is present inside the eye is cut and sucked out followed by attaching the retina back to its place and then sealing the tears or holes in the retina which have caused the retinal detachment with laser treatment. And at the end of surgery, a gas or an oil is replaced inside the eye which helps the retina to get attached. The gas gets absorbed on its own over a few weeks. However, this oil which is put is called silicon oil has to be removed by a second surgery. So at the end of this pro these procedures, the success rate of su surgical success rate of retinal detachment surgery is roughly around 80 to 90 percent in uncomplicated cases. The rest of the patients may develop a recurrent retinal detachment or the retina may not get attached requiring second or third procedure. So this is a condition which you should be aware of because many people do not notice or ignore the symptoms of early retinal detachment and only end up going to an eye doctor when it is too late. So be aware of the symptoms and visit your nearest eye specialist or a retina specialist when you develop these symptoms and if we can pick it up early, we can give back the vision which is as good as your vision was before the surgery if we can treat you early. However, if it is, even if it is late, it is never too late 
if we treat retinal detachment we can salvage some vision and prevent the eye from going blind thank you